We just got another shipment from Whole Life Pet Products and I wanted to show you they are um, packaging their treats even more differently now. Hi baby. So that box was in there and it um, so it came in this bigger box and then inside are two smaller boxes and these are packed to the brim. Um, and then like these are the 21 ounce chicken treats. <laughs> My cats didn't start rubbing their face on stuff like that until they turned about five. Um, Camus and Murphy always do that, so it was surprising to me that that my cats didn't, but maybe it's just a thing that happens in time. I don't really know. I know it's like their pheromones or whatever. Okay, so this box is empty. I've already pulled out the treats, um, but I'm going to open up this one and show you. They are um, vacuum packed, but they seem to have a lot less dust, so I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so I've opened this up with a knife. I was wondering where Charlie was, and then he all of a sudden showed up. Okay, so for those of you not familiar, like if you're watching this video or watching our channel for the first time, Whole Life Treats are freeze-dried muscle or organ meat, so it's just one ingredient. And if you can tell, there is like tiny amount of powder um, overall. It's a lot less powder than I have been experiencing. So this is exciting. Okay. So then, um, all you do is, you know, you just use scissors to cut this uh, and um, open it up. I'll do that now. Chiggy! And then someone's about to discover what's inside. Package number one. So he's like, well, you called me. What the heck, man? Um, whole, whole Life uses pet grade, or pet grade, human grade um, meats. So as a result, oh, I didn't go for that. You know, you don't have to worry about your fingers and all that kind of stuff. Um, transferring anything, um, they're, they're really safe. And I don't know what that's called or whatever, but it's um, every batch safety tested, source produced and packaged in the USA. Uh, but basically Whole Life was telling me that, you know, my niece um, pulling them out of the bag, she's two, and giving them to Charlie and Trig and then licking her fingers would be totally safe and fine, um, which is good to know if you have grandchildren, children, nieces and nephews that may or may not be interacting with your cats. But we're only gonna have one more, okay? And then we gotta be done because, because you already had your cheats today. Or day. I call them, um, I call Whole Life Pet Treats, they're cheats. And Charlie, comes running for them. It's actually his pretty much his main focus is cheats. Cheats and Nitsa, cheats and Nitsa. I'll include a link in the about section to where you can buy Whole Life online. And I'm not sure the, uh, I'll include a link in the about section too to a store locator. They, um, I think, sell in specialty stores. We get the 100% uh, chicken 21 ounce, and then I also get turkey 10 ounce. Um, they're not as a fans of the turkey, but they um, they eat it, and it's a different protein source, so I like it for that. And if you're into um, Chinese medicine at all, then you know that turkey is a cold meat, whereas chicken is a hot meat or warm meat or whatever. Um, also, they have freeze-dried liver, cod, um, I think it's beef liver, but cod, salmon, lots of different, if he gets one out, he gets it. Um, 
lots of different fish that you can try as well. We just eat um, quite a, amount, a bit of fish in our... Um, all right, wow, man, Jiminy Christmas. Um, we eat quite a bit of fish in our daily cat food, so I don't do that as treats. <laughs> These treats are also great for like puzzle toys and stuff like that because they don't leave a residue. They just leave this little powder, which isn't too bad. And there's also some people that break up the treats and put them on top of food to get their cats to eat things. You can also use that powder at the bottom to sprinkle on top of food if they really like them. Um, but overall these are a hit and I was initially introduced to them by a ragdoll breeder who feeds her cats raw food um, and offers this as um, a treat. So it's really important because um, she lives in Florida the ragdoll breeder that introduced me to the, this, um, she was telling me how important it is for cats to be exposed to all kinds of food, especially in a hurricane place like Florida, if for some reason you weren't able to get um, raw food, they should be exposed to canned, even dry food, and that's hard for me to say because you know I'm not a big fan of dry food. Um, just in case you come into a situation where you can't get any food for a few days and they can eat, um, you know, they can still eat because they recognize it as food. Charlie would have no problem recognizing dry food as food. He would go crazy. What was in your was crazy? Are you crazy? I know I love you. Do you know how much I love you? I could like are you available for eating today? Hey, hey. Well, you're going to flop and Are you going to flop and I need to be looking for where are my cheats? Cheats and neats. They're in there. He's kind of scared of the bags now because one time I let him s stick his sniffer in a bag, in the bag, and um, he... I think took a big whiff in and got like all the powder up his nose so he's a little reluctant to um I think that's me not to let him smell it and not give him anything um <laughs> to stick his nose in the bag now because of the powder and in inhalation that he had what I finally feel of this mess If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Helps our channel grow and helps me bring you more videos like this. And if you like it, please share it on Facebook, Pinterest, um, Twitter, etc. We'll see you next time. And thanks so much for watching.